We have started a new series called the quick design series and our aim is to complete the tutorials within five to six minutes so you don't need to spend much time on preparing the presentation. So this is the first video in the series uh, and this is how the slide works. When I click you can see a post it or the sticky note comes and with a push pin then the second option comes. This is the third option, fourth option and the fifth options. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes I'm going to select, you can see here this one rectangle folded corner, just draw it depending on your requirement. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, you can choose any color of your choice and I'm just going to rotate it, you can see here I'm just rotating flip horizontal and if you want you can give some shadow effect to it. For example, to give the shadow effect, go to insert shapes and I'm going to select this one which is rectangle top corners rounded. You can see here, make it less curved and then I'm going to rotate this one. You can see here, rotate and I can just flip vertical, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill, make it black, right mouse click, go to format shape, increase the transparency level and you can go to the soft adjust and increase the the blur effect you can see here and then i'm just selecting this one increase the size a little bit and then send this two back so you can see here we have added one now i'm going to use a push pin for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select maybe a a dark red color and go to effects shadows under shadow i'm going to select this one which is inner center you can see here and increase the blur effect so it looks something like this and go to insert shape and i'm going to add a kind of a needle or a pin just draw the triangle you can see here shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any dark color and just simply rotate flip vertical bring it here and send this to back you can see here select this press ctrl g to group it and you can just add it here if you want to reduce the size you can hold the shift key and reduce the size also even this size also can be reduced so you can see here this is the push pin i've added here then you can go to insert text box add the text here i'm going to say 01 and i'm going to use the font called hand of sean you can see a center align if you want increase the size and then you can add some detailed text here so you can see here the detailed text has been added again i'm going to use the same hand of sean and reduce the size I'm going to add it here so this is my first one I'm going to select all press ctrl G to group it you can see here I'm going to place it one ctrl D so this is my second one I can place it here this is my third one this is fourth and this is fifth you can see here and if you want you can just slightly rotate it or bend it the other sides you can see here simply you can just do whichever way you want and if you want a bigger uh, cutout you can just increase the size something like this also you can do it and then it's time to just change the color i can give some different color combinations you can see here whichever color combination which you like you can just simply add it and so for this maybe i can use some uh, pink color and this one i can use some light color so you can see here then let me just move this here and then i can just add the title inside again the same font i'm going to use and increase the size if you want and put it here and if you want you can add one more oval shape here shape outline make it maybe black shape fill make it no fill so it looks something like this and if you want you can add further some arrows also you can see here some arrow designs you have 
you can just simply draw any arrow here small arrow rotate it so you know that okay this is going to this shape outline you can give maybe a uh, black color shape fill you can make it no fill like this you can just simply add the arrow so this is going from one step to the another step just control d you can see here again control d that's it we have done the design you can see here the design is ready and if you want to add some background you can just go and select the picture or texture field you can see here and you can just choose any background of your choice